What's up guys? Today, we've got the top five things you as a winger need to do and need to train in order to be at your best. So let's freaking go. All right, so as a winger, you have to understand that juggling is actually one of the most important things that you can do. You as a winger are gonna be all over, all over the place, and you have to have your technical ability at a very high rate, and juggling is gonna do that for you. If you're not taking some extra time to do all of these things because you think that it's a waste of time, then you're crazy. Because right now, I can talk and make a YouTube video and juggle at the same time, all right? That means my confidence with the ball in the game is higher than it would be if I couldn't do it. So take the time, take a few minutes. All you have to do is juggle for 15 minutes. That's all I would do after every training. Juggle, juggle, juggle. If you got a ball, if you're bored, just juggle. I know you kids are never bored because you're just on your phones all the time. But back in my day, we didn't have a smartphone, Balling. okay? So we would juggle. Do it. So sprinting is gonna be a very important part of your game as a winger. If you don't understand how fast you really need to be and you're not working on your sprinting, then you're missing out. We've got a great running video that you guys absolutely have to check out, but there are all sorts of drills and things that you can do to become better as a sprinter. For instance, this one right here, working your abs, working everything out. You get up, you sprint, you go, all right? There's also, of course, the beautiful black band. If you don't have one of these, you better go buy one, okay? It's very useful. All you gotta do is this. We've got three, four, five videos on sprinting. Right here, this offers resistance, okay? This allows us to mimic the sprinting motion, allowing us to work out on that. So you can do anything from here. You can work on this action. You can work on this as if you had a ball. There, back. Doing all the actions that you would be doing like this. Lateral movements are obviously gonna be very important for you as a winger. So moving like this, side to side, all those things. Check out the videos that we've got because you absolutely have to be working on these things if you are a winger. All right, so you have to work on your sprinting. There are a ton of ways to do that. We'll throw you a few right here. Check out all the other videos we have on running, your core, all those things, they'll help out, all right? All right, so this one is a point that you just have to know, something you have to understand. Usually, all the players need to understand this. A winger, it's very important, especially because you don't have as much space as everybody else. You've got this, and that's it, all right? So, if I was to receive a ball right here, when I get the ball, and I'm attacking this way, and I got the ball from my left back, let's say. If I stand like this, and this is how I'm going to receive the ball, straight up, my back, I have no idea what's going on. All right, there's a few things that you should check. This is the check mark, all right? This is the things that you need to know before you get the ball that you absolutely have to do. One, if I have to be like this, if I have to stand like this, at least I look over my shoulder once. Before you get the ball, the ball might be going from right back to center back to the other center back then to the left back during that time you got to be giving yourself a lot of this if you really have to be faced like this the best position for me to be in is like this not like this if i am like this at least i look over my shoulder that way if i get the ball someone passes me the ball i know i can let it run and take off like that so there's all sorts of things but that's the first thing check your surroundings next if you can open up do that the next thing is when you receive the ball, try to receive the ball in motion. It doesn't matter if you have your back faced to the goal, but if I get the ball and the defender's there, pass me the ball, if I go here, if I take my touch like this, that's way better than me just taking the ball and standing like this. It doesn't even mean that you have to try to beat the guy. If you have to stand in this position, that's fine because you can always do this. If I get the ball, I at least have this. 
most likely I can get a ball, pass it right back to him, I can open up, I can take off running, anything like that. But the point that I want you guys to remember is to try to always be in motion when you're gonna get the ball, okay? The best thing to do to always keep yourself in motion is I can even go backwards if I get the ball. If the ball's past me, I can take a touch here, body fade in here, and now maybe the line is opened up and I can run off like this. One of the other things you absolutely have to remember is that you need to check. Checking means I, ch I check like this and then maybe I can take off. Maybe he plays the ball over the top. Don't just stand here like this, wait for the ball to come, get it and think you're just gonna do anything. It's not. The whole time it's there, you fake inside maybe. You come out here. But the best thing to do is to try and turn him before he's even got it. So I might check in, get the ball at my feet, be running at you like this. Now I can do this. I can look up, I can pass, I can do all those things. That's all you need to know. All right, so this is something, the reason we moved to the middle of the field is because it applies everywhere. It's just something you need to be aware of. It's gonna happen to you as a winger, but you can use it anywhere on the field. You can beat a player with one move. You don't need five, six, seven touches. You don't need a bunch of step overs. You don't need any of that. Many wingers and many players are effective by just knowing that they can just go past the guy because the momentum and the speed with which he's coming at them means he can just take a touch and go. And you can just do that. So if the defender, the ball's coming in, and the defender's running at me, if I can take my good first touch, I'm here. And then you can put the ball away. You don't always have to look to settle the ball, then do a move, then try and accelerate. Sometimes simplicity will get the job done. And maybe you even just need a little fate. So if I was to receive a pass and he's to rush in, maybe instead of taking my first touch, maybe I, I want to do it in two. That's fine. Just be aware that it can be done quickly. So if you were to, even from here, roll the ball in, yeah. I take my touch and then I faint and then I go. That's it. Just know that it can be done simply. It doesn't have to be a step over. It doesn't have to be all these fancy and tricky moves. You don't always have to do them. And life will be easier for you if you mix it all up. So try and do that. It'll make the game better for you. All right, guys, so this last point is about crossing. You, as a winger, have to be good at crossing, and I actually don't recommend you working on your crossing alone. It just kind of doesn't make sense because there's so much that you can do. It's so rich, all right? Now, going in, kind of looping crosses in, stuff like that, it's fine if you really have to do it. But if you've got a friend, then it makes things perfect for you. When you go to do your crossing, if you really have to, you just take a touch out and whip it in, all right? Now, I want the camera to come up close to my foot here and see where we're really crossing from. Most of the time, you're going to be crossing from here because you kind of want to if I'm on the right side of the field and the goal is there, I want these to be right here on this side of the foot. You want to hit the ball there. You want to kind of loft it up for the guy to be able to get it in. Now, so what's important obviously is that you try to make it as game-like as possible. When I receive a ball and I've got a friend that I'm crossing to, maybe take my step over here, then I look up, cross it in so he could finish like that. All right, take 25, take 30, take as many as you can. So mix it up. You always want to make it as game-like as possible. You're not always going to have a cross like that that's perfect like Beckham. In the game, it might not always be that way. Sometimes you have to improvise. So you come here, maybe do your step over, you get into end line, the guy's coming with you. You fake in here. Well, maybe you have to drive it on the ground. You still need to work on those crosses. That still has to be natural for you. All right, so be aware of those things. Be aware that you have to lift the ball. Be aware that sometimes you might have to drive the ball on the ground. And you have to work on all those in the game. Hi guys, I'm Romeo. Like, comment, and subscribe. Do it! That's what I said. Do it. Like, comment, and subscribe right now. You know what to do. Kick it, flick it, go the distance Outside the box, not afraid to be different Listen, it's Will John going long Trying to be rich, hard work, face up